In Microsoft Project, tasks can frequently affect each other time-wise, depending on the nature of the work. If they can overlap, or if they need to be spaced out, say to allow the concrete to set before building framing on it, we need to adjust those things in the program. A gap between two tasks is called a lag, and an overlap is called a lead. In this example, we have a few tasks written down for the construction of a house. When concrete is poured, in this case for the foundation, it normally has to set for a few days before one can build on it. So unless we want to build the setting time into the task, we add a gap called a lag by pushing the successor task, framing the walls, back. We can double click that successor task and bring up the task information dialog box. Within that box, we go to the predecessors tab appropriately. And what we need to do is specify what kind of lag we want between the predecessor pouring the foundation slab and this one framing the walls. We can click over here in the lag space and type in the amount of lag we want or use the spinner arrows to set it for, say, three days. Once having specified the amount of lag, we can OK out of the box at bottom. Now we can see over here on the right side of the Gantt chart that the bar for framing the walls has moved further to the right. The two tasks are no longer essentially uh, nose to tail. If two tasks can overlap, for example, uh, we can start putting in the electrical or the drywall when the plumbing is about half done. We again go to the later task, putting up the drywall. We can give it a double click. And again, we see we need to go to the predecessors tab. Now, if we want to set a negative lag, which is also called a lead, what we would do is click the lag space and spin the arrows down, for example, two days. You can see that a minus shows up ahead of the amount of lag there. If I click OK, we can now see that the bar that represents the task of putting up the drywall overlaps with the tail end of installing the electrical. However, if I wanted to specify a percentage rather than a number of days, I can double click the task as before, go to the lag, and this time actually type in the number that I want, say minus 10%, and click OK. What that does is to go with 10% of the length of the previous task. And this means I can specify pretty closely, by whichever means I want, how much of an overlap there should be. I can also go directly to the predecessor's column on the left side of the Gantt, if I wish. And as you can see here, one can type in the amount of lag or lead one wants. One simply has to type, in this case, FS for finish to start, and then plus or minus however much lag or lead. If I wanted to set it, say, to two days, I can type 2D and hit Enter. And it does indeed reduce the gap between the one task and the other. It also causes the light blue updating effect to show up here in the start and finish dates. This is quite normal. If I were to change the lead on this task down here, putting up the drywall, again, I can select the information or click at the end of it, backspace or otherwise remove whatever it is I wanted, set the number to say 15%, and now the task of putting up the drywall will start when the previous task, installing electrical, is about 15% away from being done. Again, we can see that over here on the right side of the Gantt, the bar for the task I just adjusted has moved in this case, a little bit further to the left. The key thing about using lag and lead in Microsoft Project is to understand that the program will allow the user to set any degree desired. It is up to the project manager to determine which, if any, is suitable to the nature of the tasks. But that said, it's just a matter of typing the appropriate amount in, which makes the feature straightforward and simple.